Things are really starting to shake up in the world of no-code AI. Just the other day, Replit introduced their mobile app generation, which is not true mobile app generation, but we are taking a step in the right direction. And now today, Bolt.new have introduced build a mobile app with Expo, and they've promoted it all on their page. It's got new create native, react native mobile apps with Bolt. So is this going to be different? Let's check out this announcement introducing native mobile app support on Bolt. You can now go from idea to app store just by prompting Bolt, no coding necessary. So it's promising that we can actually make real mobile apps. And there is the iOS app store logo. Uh, let's check out what they've got going on. In today's on. video, we'll create a stunning developer portfolio app using Bolt.new and Expo. This app will work seamlessly on Android, iOS, and the web. We'll also okay. cover how to deploy it to their respective platforms. Okay, so they said on Android, iOS, and the web, so it might just be the same as the Replit version because if it's just going to be a website in a mobile wrapper, which is, let's see, I'm, I might just be jumping ahead. I might, well, I'm clearly jumping ahead, but I don't I don't know. Um, okay, Expo, this is new to me. Today, we're gonna get set up with a new Expo app. React Native and Expo allow developers who know React to create native apps that are ready for the App Store. It okay. takes just a couple of minutes to get set up, so let's get started. This is a lot different from what Replit launched because they've teamed up with this app creation company, Expo. So they've now got this in the back end and using React, you can create your apps just as you would prompt it in Bolt.new. But rather than making assumptions on what Expo is and how Bolt.new may or may not have integrated this and if they've done it properly or done it the way Replit did, I just thought, let me go ahead and add on some tokens so I can test it out. So I'm gonna give it the same prompt that I gave to Replit so I'm glad I've got this already. It's for the Level Up Coach app. And let's see what it does right off the bat and then I can put them side by side because that's gonna be the true test. So an app that, just paste that in as it is. Did it get everything? So it's got the whole prompt with the roadmap. The only thing is I didn't take out it trying to build the back end. So hopefully it just does its own thing. I'm also gonna just throw this into knowledge. What it, does it take? Yeah, it takes everything. So throwing that in knowledge for the project. And if you've not seen any of my other videos, I recommend actually creating a set of rules and condensing the information that you put in knowledge so you're not just copying and pasting your whole PRD or project overview or roadmap, but I'm just doing a quick test and it's better than leaving it open with nothing. So save that, close, and how's it going? Has it got anything to tell me? It's installing, okay, app tabs, layout tab, index tabs, goals, tabs, challenges. I'll help you build the Level Up Coach app using Expo and React Native. Let's start with setting up the core structure and implementing the main features. So yeah, so this initial screen that it shows me is going to be the test. And then I'm gonna put it side by side with the app I made on Replit to see what we're looking like. But somebody did say that I did it wrong. So what I made on Replit wasn't actually their way of creating mobile apps. So I do have to go back and revisit it. I did buy a subscription just so I could test it out some more, but I've not been back to it. And then Bolt.new made this announcement. So here I am and looks like we're done. Wait for it to update. Building mobile application. Okay, so to preview your own preview on your own mobile device. Okay, so I'm gonna go to that. I'm gonna open up my camera and go to that. Oh, it says no usable data. Uh, use the code scanner app. Code scanner app, or can I just use my camera? Code scanner. No usable data. Who has a, a code scanner app? Oh, okay. Yeah, being silly. It says install Expo Go. So we're gonna head to the App Store and go to Expo, Expo Go. There, we, there it is. Get. Install that and then from that app, we scan it on our phone. Wait a minute, it says, use the code scanner app, oh, on I. <laughs> All right, and now we're going to open that up. 
and press here to sign into your expo account. Where do I, where do I scan? It says scan this QR code. I don't have an account, so can I scan to create the account? Home. No, so I think I have to make an account. No, it's not. I've signed up and it's not giving me the option to scan. Let me go back to the camera now and see if it if it will. Uh, okay, so now when I scan it, it opens the app. So the, you have to have the app installed. Then it wants to connect to your local Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. It's building JavaScript bundle. But if I if I just close this, I can see it. Wow, this, okay, okay, I'm sold. I'm sold, I'm sold. Continue. So I've got it on my phone screen and I've got it on Bolt.new. This, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is it. This is AI no code app generation. This is it. This is it. And the fact that you can test it out on your phone in real time, this is it. So what, what I want to know now, because I'm going to, I'll probably be up all night over the weekend. Yeah, not probably. But what I want to know is how easy will it be to deploy? I did see a comment on the YouTube video. Mind you, I've not yet watched the video. I've skipped through it. Everything. Um, but I did scroll down and the first comment I saw was how do you integrate with uh, a database with mobile apps? Um, somebody did say just via API. So it's probably as simple as asking the AI. And if it's not so simple, it's only going to get more simple with time. Just as when we had to connect to Superbase, the next thing they done was make it so Superbase was integrated into Bolt.new and then it was just a, a matter of clicking and adding. And another thing I saw, I think it was on X, but somebody said it was still quite difficult to deploy it. Yeah, so it still feels a little technical in terms of deployment, not as good as your Netlify integration, but good progress, sure. So I'm gonna have to go and watch the video through to see how they deploy it. But I do know from having apps in the app store, Android is a lot easier. iPhone is a bit harder. You also have to pay for an annual subscription. You've also got to go and set up your company account and then every build update, you have to send a new build and update it through Xcode and all kinds of crazy stuff that probably will put a lot of people off. Last time I did that was in 2019. So I don't know if that process has changed. If not, then this will be a bit of a barrier for some people, but hopefully things have changed and they've made it, or they will focus on making it more simple. I think they'd have to work with Apple to get that done, but nonetheless, this is amazing. So yeah, we've got it now, Bolt.new, they came, they hit the market, they saw other people were closing in on this particular thing and they said, nope, we want to take this market. And we are in such a competitive space right now. I think it speaks a lot to the fact that everything is so competitive that companies are adding this as integrated into our subscriptions because in the past, something like this would be a paid add-on. I don't know if they're gonna change it, but this would be something that you'd have to tear up to get to. So definitely impressed with that. If you wanna go and check that out, you already know how to find Bolt.new. Oh, I didn't notice you've got the different mobile screens here like you did on Replit. Um, but yeah, I've got my subscriptions on Lovable. I'm waiting to see what Lovable does. It's probably gonna be a matter of days before Lovable comes out with their own mobile app generation. But nonetheless, these are shiny objects. Try and get your ideas to production as soon as possible and ship them. Try not to get too caught up in the battlefield of these AI tech tools. Just get your thing built and get it done. They're all going to be competing with each other. So Lovable will have a mobile app generation thing coming out soon and there'll be a bunch more other tools hitting the market. So focus on the end goal, which is creating the thing, getting it to production. And if you want to do just that, join the no code agents and also join the idea to MVP group. That's a paid mastermind. We have weekly live calls where we're going through the different pain points and working our way through the seven step process, which is going from idea to MVP, which is more to production rather than the MVP because 
we can really make MVPs now in one click. But come on over, join the group. And if you found this video useful, drop a like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell because I will be doing more lives where I just go through some of these things. So make sure you are subscribed and being notified. Until next time, peace.